today we are looking at the global sat bu 353 n it is a usb gps receiver uh, this is a box it has some specs on the back as you can see it works with linux mac android and windows and they have their website right here on the side uh, what comes inside the box is the main unit See, it has the name right here, BU353N, uh, and it has the USB connector. It also comes uh, with a suction cup, and it comes with a quick start guide. So I'm going to show you how to use the BU353N. Uh, go to your search, type in device manager, that should pop up, and then click it. So we're going to connect the USB to your computer or laptop. When it's connected, it should come under ports, com, and LPT. Uh, you might have to download the driver from the website or it should automatically update as well if you have internet. Sometimes it shows other devices. All you have to do is uh, right click, update driver, and search automatically for drivers and it will update the best driver and create a COM port. So if you want to get the driver from the website you will go to the website globalsat.com.tw You will go over to support Click it Find the device Click it and then you will see the driver right here They have the driver for Windows, Mac and Linux So once you download the driver Connected your device it should show up on the COM and LPT. As you can see it says COM3. Also on the website they have a GPS info tool that you can download to check if your device is working. Uh, you click right here it will download on your downloads then just double click the application. Uh, more info run anyway and then you should have a GPS info open. You will select the same COM port that your device made. Make sure it is 4800 and then click start GPS. Uh, you will see NMEA data scrolling and then if you have a GPS fix you will see blue bars on the bottom. This means your device is working also on the device when it has a GPS fix the red light will be blinking if it does not have a GPS fix it will be solid red and it's recommended to put the device by a window or an open sky so it can get a fix it should take about a minute to get a fix so once you've done this you know your device is working all you would do is close GPS info as the device can only talk to one program at a time and you would just close it and then you would open your navigational software and it should be working.